Next up, Polkadot-based DeFi project plows ahead. 205 million staked on Staffy. Uh, what a great picture. Plows ahead. Aha. Anyhow, nearly 2,000 addresses have staked 205 million on the Polkadot-based DeFi project Staffy. First of all, I don't know what Staffy is. Uh, it sounds like a pretty good thing. DeFi, that's like the new hot thing, right? Uh, maybe it would be good to invest in. I have no idea, but uh, it looks like it's already overbought. I'll get into that in a second. So Staffy lets users stake their proof of stake tokens and gives them receipts of the token, which they can use then use elsewhere in crypto. Staffy is a DeFi app built on Polkadot, has locked staking tokens worth 205 million. That's a lot of money in a very short amount of time. Bonded across only 1,700 plus addresses. That's not a lot of people. 1,700 addresses, and who knows how many are duplicates or who, how many people own like 5, 10, 20 of those. Who knows? Scary. The project allows proof-of-stake token holders to stake their assets and provides them with tokens that represent these stake positions. Atom tokens become our Atom. Polkadot's DOT tokens become our DOT and many other uh, proof-of-stake blockchains. It's a, so it's the same thing. Just like what they're doing with, with urine, compound, and synthetics. Uh, with urine, you got YUSD. Compound, you got CUSD. And synthetics, it's synthetic USD. Uh, same type of thing. So that's how it works as far as staking and all, all those things go. The token stake on Staffy include Polkadot, Kasuma, KSM, Tezos, hey, Cosmos, Matic, Kava, and Harmony. Interesting. Matic. That was supposed to be for uh, Ethereum. So good to see that uh, it's branching off. Polkadot's making waves, launching Polkadot is favorable in the current Ethereum-only DeFi sector as gas fees in the network reach 500 GUI this week. That's a lot of money, and I've heard nothing but problems as far as like the Ethereum uh, gas prices. So there's a nice little website I always like to go to uh, because it's a visual, visual type of thing. It's called txstreet.com, and you can see the um, actions and uh, all the different um, things that are actually happening as far as like transactions for Ethereum. Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. So if you take a look at Ethereum right now, it you know pretty active little sector, right? Here's the medium fee. Here's the transaction pool count, transaction per second. Only 11 transactions per second. That's pretty low, honestly. So, and you can just see all the different. So here's Compound, uh, 0x, Augur, uh, Tether, <laughs> Tether, Matic, uh, Uniswap, Curve, all those things. So it's pretty cool how it all lays it all out. And this has just been growing and growing and growing. So it's pretty active, right? Let's take a look at Bitcoin. What's going on over there? So Bitcoin, of course, not too much. It's all stacked up every 10 minutes. And here's what's happening. And it's very slow. Let's just say that. Transaction per second, 4.36. What are you going to do? But yeah, slow goes the boat. Let's take a look at Bitcoin Cash. See how fast that's moving around. Editor, please put in cricket noises. And that's Bitcoin Cash. So if they're going to have a split, I can only imagine how fantastic that's going to go. Anyhow, let's go back. Moreover... This is pretty interesting. Uh, Ethereum's processing speed is around 10 to 15 transactions per second, uh, while Polkadot can reportedly scale up to 100,000 to 1 million TPS by implementing parallel blockchains. Now, if anybody has any type of documentation or any type of uh, website or some type of uh, PDF that they can point me to that proves this, I would love to see it because that's amazing right now. Um, if they can do that, maybe that's one of the reasons why it went up all the way to number six, number five on the uh, crypto market cap. So that'd be very interesting to see. They can do that. That's awesome. Several other dApps are also set to launch in Polkadot, including Akala and Snowfork. I'm not going to go into those. I will link this article in the description. You can check it out. Staffy has moved to the final phase of the mainnet launch with the staking drop, similar to airdrop, of a 2% supply of its governance token. FIS to existing stakeholders. And that's how this whole DeFi thing works, right? Mm -hmm. So you're able to stake your coins. They're going to say, thanks so much. Here's our governance token. And that governance token will be worth X amount of dollars. Like if you look at Sushi, that went from, well, actually it went from like a hundred something dollars. And then the um, all the stakeholders sold off. Then it went to three, to five, to seven. I don't know what it is right now, but that's the whole thing. The governance token uh, causing liquidity and getting all that um, price action so you can actually make them more money but reportedly the airdrop for fis was oversubscribed by 7x so there you go DeFi, in my humble opinion is going to be huge it's just right now it's very dangerous so you got to be like a uh, a shark you got to get in and get out because if you stick around too much longer too long you're gonna be holding a lot of bags just my opinion let me know what you think in the comment section 
let's move on to Q of the day.